Alrighty, I got a couple new additions here I wanted to show you. We'll bring this around. I added a uh, little searchlight here that I printed with the uh, 3D printer. Um, I downloaded this from Thingiverse, but I made a different base for it. And in here is a little box for some little batteries. And it's got a little switch on it. And there you go, there's a the searchlight. And I also made this uh, street light here, and the reason that I did this is because in the track here is the uh, photo sensor that works the uh, railroad crossing. But what happens is, if it's dark, and I just crashed it. I also made this little street light here, and the reason I did that is because there's the photo sensor in the track here for the um, railroad crossing sign and what happens is if it's dark or this light isn't on all the way then I also made this little street light here and the reason I made that is for the photo sensor that's in the track for the railroad crossing sign and the reason I did that is because if it's dark then this will think that the train is on it and these lights will stay on all the time. So, let me turn that on. There we go. So then what happens is that can stay on, turn the lights off, then the railroad crossing sign doesn't come on unless I block it. It's a little bit big. I uh, printed the base and printed the battery holder and the uh, the light shade here, whatever you want to call it. This is uh, actually a pen that I used. I uh, glued it together. So, pretty cool. 